a block shown in figure is just moved by a force of 200 newton the weight of the block is 600 newton determine the coefficient of static friction between the block and the floor we can figure this block weight let it be w 600 newton and the block weight is 600 newton and the block weight is 600 newton and the block weight is 600 newton moved by a force of P is equal to 200 Newton applied in this direction that is 20 degree with the horizontal right to its right and apply in it here situation left he contact surface of the coefficient of friction and I'm going to get clear I'm going to assume jail let n be a normal reaction f be the frictional force developed for to solve this we will draw the free body diagram of this block block in a virtue represent a do first in the weight of the block 200 600 Newton will be acting vertically downwards through its center of gravity like this now next in the is external force p number of person p is p the whole act and it is inclined at an angle 20 degree with the horizontal clear now now as number a block in the tire the ground the floor number of moji in the floor will be exciting a reaction on the block and then that reaction will be perpendicular to the contacts of either in the body alone tamil the contacts are present perpendicular like so it will be acting in this direction as shown clear now now due to the application of this force the block we will have a tendency to move in the towards right clearly you block a e force and the we block in the towards right hand side if or equal to move on the tendency in the friction force e contacts are for friction force in the region e motion a opposite direction like the friction force at the end of clear now now we'll consider the equilibrium of the block and we will find out the value of me but concerning the equilibrium of the block first equilibrium equation we will use in the sigma f i is equal to solo on you see by rational forces and they kind of only normal reaction in the weight of the block in the downward direction in a speed a vertical component that is p sin theta in the upward direction n m p sin theta in positive w and the negative so we will get in the p sin theta plus n minus w is equal to zero from that we can find out n to be w minus p sin theta W can the will substitute 600 Newton and P can the 200 Newton substituted. So we'll get in the N to be 531.6 Newton again. Once we find out N, we can find out in the friction force F to be mu into N. Mu area, mu are not going to be done. Clear. Pen in the value is substitute here. Upon that again, E and negative value is substitute here. We can friction force F is mu into 531.6. Let it be our equation number one. Now, will consider the second equilibrium equation sigma fx is equal to zero x directional force is equal to e p the horizontal component that is p cos theta p is the friction force f p cos theta is positive f is negative that is p cos theta minus f is equal to zero f is the e value mu n substitute clear that is p is the 200 and substitute that is 200 into cos theta minus mu into 531.6 is equal to zero from that only unknown values mu now for rearrange it we can get mu is equal to 200 cos 20 by 531.6 from that we can find out mu to be 0 0.35 therefore coefficient of static friction between block and the floor is mu is equal to 0 0.35